The phrase pace and space isn't exactly what you would have used in the past to describe Northwestern's offense since Chris Collins was hired in 2014. That first season, the Wildcats ranked 321st in three-point percentage and 317th in offensive pace. Northwestern improved over the next six seasons, but not by much. They were below average in pace every year. This season is a completely different story. After knocking off Michigan State and Indiana, Northwestern is shooting 41% from three with possessions that are an average of five seconds shorter than that 2014 season. The X's and O's explanation for that statistical change is five out offense. Immediately passing to the five man with everyone else lined up on the perimeter. Pete Nance is usually that five man out at the top of the key. Here's Chris Collins talking about the decision to go smaller and using Nance as a playmaker out on the perimeter. I wasn't doing a great job as Pete was younger, kind of developing his skill set, getting the most out of him. You know, and certainly he had the mono, which knocked him back his freshman year. But even last year, I just didn't think I was maximizing what he can do. He's a really good passer. He plays really well out of the high post. He can shoot threes. You know, his added strength, I thought his ability to drive the ball tonight was really, was really good. Like when they jammed him on the perimeter, he got to the basket. You know, he got a couple rolls where he dunked the ball, which, which he hadn't done. I mean, that's the added strength. That's the added confidence. But we like playing through him you know, at the elbows at the, at the high post and we get cutters off of them and um, we try to get movement and, and things and we feel like he's going to make great decisions. You know, he had four assists tonight and um, he's going to be in that. That's, I just felt like at that position, it would give us the best chance to maximize what he does. The first thing Nance can do is throw and chase right into a ball screen. Here, Michigan State goes under Bowie and he nails a three. On this play, it's Bowie coming down the middle, so Nance goes directly into the screen instead and slips to the basket. Collins mentioned they like to cut off Nance, finding players for back doors just like a five man in a Princeton style offense. Northwestern will also rub right off of Nance, flowing directly into dribble handoffs and ball screens if the cuts are initially stalled out. Because the guards are shooting the ball so well from outside, you have to go over the screens, and that creates opportunities to then get downhill. The wings can also interact with each other in 5-out. Here they set up a flare screen, but then slip right to the basket. That action is a staple for Nick Nurse and the Toronto Raptors. In general, a lot of these 5-out concepts for Northwestern are especially trendy in the current NBA. Here when the slip isn't open, they move right into an empty ball screen, yet again punishing the defense for going under. You'll also see plenty of zoom action in the five out with the player in the slot sending a pin down for the corner to again get into one of those ball screens or dribble handoffs. When the defense is fighting to get through that zoom action, Nance is good at re-screening and flipping the angle to make it even harder for that defender to continue to stay even on the ball. Some of Northwestern's best action comes out of their stagger away series. Instead of passing to the five, the point guard keeps the ball and a stagger is set for the weak side corner. Miller Cop hit a three off it against Indiana and Bowie hit one against Michigan State. Here the stagger is curled so they get into Princeton's split action, generating the wide open three as the defense collapses. Another progression in the Stagger series is to then set a double ball screen instead. They went to this against Michigan State, and you can start to see how Chris Collins mixes in called plays and counters within their five out framework. Sometimes for the Northwestern offense, it's just naturally reading the defense and taking what's there. And other times it's more structured design plays. My favorite design out of the five out was this hammer play. While the stagger is occurring, Bowie acts like he's going to hand the ball off, but fakes it for a baseline drive. As that's happening, they set up the hammer screen in the opposite corner. It created a wide open three against Indiana and drew a foul against Michigan State. 
Thanks to 62% shooting from two and 43% from three against Michigan State and Indiana, Big Ten play couldn't have started any better for Northwestern. But the upcoming schedule does the Wildcats no favors. With Ohio State, Iowa, Michigan, and Illinois all coming up, we'll have to wait and see if Northwestern's play is really sustainable. At the very least, the five out pace and space is a fun watch. We did a newsletter on more five out concepts over the summer, and we have a much longer five out YouTube video dropping on the channel sometime in the next week or two. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the newsletter, and thank you very much for watching.